Woohoo! Hey, thank you for being here. Very excited for many reasons. But, well, the obvious is there. My Francis box is in bloom, and this Care Collab here, in my case, is to update. But also very excited because we have a new channel for me, who I am participating with. So I want to say a very warm welcome to Roger's Orchids for joining in on this Care Collab with the Mirmakatavola Francis Fox. Welcome, Roger. I know you're not new to this Care Collab. I have been told that you've already taken part in one of the videos. But for me, with Ninja Orchids, welcome. Thank you for being here. The other participants are Karin's Orchids, Ray Ray's Garden, and the Orchid Saga. So the video links will be in my description with regards to their Francis Fox. And thank you to all of you for joining me, in my case, update of the Mirma Catavola Francis Fox. And this is what it was all about, my blooms. It's a first time bloomer for me. This orchid came from eBay. It was a very, very pathetic little division in the back. And that is clearly to be seen now, that division that I got many years ago, what is now all yellow and starting to die off, which is fine. I have a second Mirmakatawala Francis Fox, which I will show you after we've enjoyed these blooms, just to give an update on that. And that was to be my replacement. And funny enough, my replacement may be the one that's not going to make it. We'll get to that just now, but first of all, blooms. Oh, I am so delighted. You know why? It's a first time bloomer. I got her through and she is now showing her true potential. She is a named Mimrakatawola Francis Fox and that is Sunrise. And well, the colors speak for themselves. My other one is a little bit redder in the bloom, but I have a Francis Fox that is alive and will continue to do well after all the trials and tribulations that we've had in the past. And I got three blooms. And they have been opened. Well, this bloom opened first, so you can see how it's already a little bit more on the yellow front. It's starting to fade a bit, but it's been open a good three weeks. The size of the lip. Oh, overachiever much? <laughs> These blooms back here took then forever to open. I was very surprised that the buds didn't open quickly one after the other. So these have been opened about three days. Pretty. What I find very interesting about all the Francis Fox is that the texture of their blooms is super stiff and yet they're a little floppy. You know, the sepal just whoop. They're a floppy, not an open standing upright bloom. For me personally, you know, I would like it to be an open bloom like this. That is personal preference. But when you look at the colors like this, now that is just semantics. I just love her. So that is my update. The orchid is doing fine. She is in bloom for the first time. She has that floral fragrance. So we're not missing out of any kind of first bloom issues. Everything is great. And we're probably going to have another new growth starting relatively quickly. So once this orchid gets going and can be maintained healthy, then there is no stopping her. So now I'm going to put some gloves on and I'm going to update you on the division that is infected with the F-bomb. And here is Smurf. <laughs> yes, if this piece or pieces were to survive and actually grow, and become of something of substance. This is not a named variety of the Mirmacatavola Francis Fox. It is just Francis Fox. But if any of these pieces were to make it and bloom again, I will be calling mine Smurf. The amount of copper I have doused these guys with is astounding. And we can see that here's one piece that is starting a new growth. The roots have clearly gone. This is not getting any more treatment. It is what it is now. It has had enough copper, as you can see, on it. So this is all it's going to get. And if you're going to make it, great. And if not, we gave it a good go. 
Strangely though, this is the back piece. This is the oldest part of the orchid. The previous one, much fresher, pseudobulbs are still somewhat plump. But this one is the old piece and it is the piece that is growing a new growth. Of all things, when you think of Fusarium, you think maybe the back is gonna be the worst. It won't have the energy, it won't be able to do anything. But look at this new growth right here. Yeah, very interesting. Now, if this is going to shoot out roots, they will, sorry, they will get a fungicide treatment and then they will just be treated like a normal seedling, potter up, isolated, see what happens. But isn't that astounding that the oldest piece is the one that is actually active? Hmm. And I will keep them both together in this bottle set up with the hob materia at the bottom as per usual, simulating sphagnum moss. And I will now be moistening the base just a tad, just a little bit, so that the hob material will stay nice and humid and hopefully encourage some roots on the old piece. And I'm going to have to readjust that, but I'll do that off camera. But yeah, quick update on the two pieces of my Fusarium infected Francis Fox. I see hope. <laughs> Signing off is best with blooms. So I want to say thank you so very, very much for watching. Remember, I've got all the links to the other videos in the description below from Karin's Orchids, Ray Ray's Garden, The Orchid Saga, and Roger's Orchids. Once again, welcome, Roger. It's so good to be doing a care collab together with you. I appreciate your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.